Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Head Prestige Pro 2023. Head updates its most prestigious of rackets, the Prestige Pro with Oxetic 2.0. Now featuring Oxetic material at both the yoke and the handle, this Prestige offers a blind feel to match its excellent control. A slightly more headlight balance at seven points makes this a very approachable update for more players. The swing weight comes in at an average of 325, the flex is a buttery 58 RA, and of course you get tons of control from the 98 square inch head size and 18 by 20 string pad. Always a fun time for me to get on court with a prestige racket. They are my kind of rackets. I love the silky smooth feel and the control, and this one has tons of it. Uh, really is a beautiful playing racket out on the court. Plays as good as it looks. It's got a beautiful cosmetic on it too. From the baseline, I found this racket really easy to get around and a little bit faster and whippier than the outgoing version. I mean, we're splitting hairs here, but it's just a marginally bit more maneuverable and faster feeling for me. Um, and I felt like I was getting a little bit more shape on my shot. So I was getting good spin, really good placement, rolling angles very well, flicking lobs, uh, getting some nice height over the net and getting the ball to drop in on my approach shots. So that was super fun. Um, I was perhaps missing a little bit of penetration on my shots when going quite through the court as well as some other rackets out there. And so I would maybe just beef this one up with a little bit of tungsten tape, maybe just at the tip, but otherwise good to go. Or um, I would string this one slightly lower or maybe hybrid it just to juice up the string bed a little bit. At net, tons of control and feel on my volleys. Um, again, on serve, that's one place I would look for a little bit more pace for my shots, but I was getting a lot of consistency because again, I was getting nice shape on my shots so I could clear the net, get the ball down inside the box. So I thought this was a fantastic update to an already impressive racket. As with a lot of other players here, we really enjoy these mass-based power rackets, Prestige being one of my favorite. I'm gonna start this off by saying just head is hitting it out of the park. They've just got a lot of really nice rackets, very playable. The Prestige Pro, this version would be my favorite of the Prestiges. There's just some slight tweaks. I would say the swing weight and mass-based power is there for you, so that remains the same. I am detecting a little more oxeticness out of this one now that the 2.0 not only has it in the yoke but in the handle. That, you know, I'm not really uh, understanding exactly how all this works, but the result of it is this racket definitely feels plush. Um, as plush as it feels around net, I definitely felt like it was crisp and nimble. Trading ground strokes from the backcourt was probably my favorite part of this play test. Uh, the mass and the swing weight overall just made plow through and shot depth easy to gauge with the tip light balance and the softer layup of graphite uh, just makes it easier for me to return and absorb pace uh, very easily. Uh, overall, uh, you guys know my thing with the 18 main rackets, I prefer a thinner edgy string, something like the Lynx Tour 17 gauge really gave me the uh, kind of the launch angle and the height over the net that I need to remain uh, effective on court. Overall, it's just a fantastic racket, great play test. I'm always excited to see what HEAD has with the Prestige line and previously I've really gravitated towards several different models of the Prestige. Now getting onto the court with this one, as I've mentioned in some other reviews, I've been playtesting a lot of 18 by 20s and they're slowly growing on me. However, with this racket combined with that really low buttery soft RA, it was almost too flexible for my personal taste. If you know anything about what I like in a racket, I need something a little bit firmer. But with this low powered racket, I was just looking for a tiny bit more plow through. Something I definitely think could be fixed with a little bit of customization. Uh, I felt like the sweet spot was a little bit demanding, but this racket deserves all the demand and um, precision that you have. So it was kind of one of those rackets that made me raise my level when I had it in my hands. Obviously incredibly comfortable, that classic control and feel, and I could hit out, but again, just on longer points or rallies against players like Mark Boone, who gets every single ball back, I needed just a tiny bit more put away power. Tons of feel at the net. I could have used a little more power on serve, but love the specific directional control off returns. So all in all, a great racket, tons of feel, great precision, just not the best prestige out of this line for me. I was really excited to test out this current new update to the prestige. I'll call it the 1820 because the name has changed uh, over the years, but uh, 
Just really, really love this update. Uh, going back a couple generations ago when Head actually made the head size a little bit bigger than the classic uh, versions of the 1820. It took me a little getting used to, but this one's just really dialed. Um, for you classic racket fans out there looking for that classic prestige, just ultra comfortable, plush, buttery smooth, um, this is the way to go right here. I mean, the stiffness is just sub uh, 60 on the uh, stiffness rating and uh, just a great feel with this one. Um, I felt like on court when I was at, at the baseline, I could really put the ball anywhere I wanted to. Love the slice with this racket, just smooth. It had enough mass in there for the plow through. Um, and then on serve, I felt like I could pick my targets really well. Maybe not the most spin friendly on serve, but something that I kind of was able to adapt to the more I uh, served with it. And then up at net, that's where this racket really shines. I'll give a shout out to former playtester Granville. This one's a scalpel, uh, just very, very comfortable. You can really just put the ball on a dime. So just a lovely update, looks great. And I think uh, you classic prestige fans, you gotta get your hands on this one. We strung up this Head Prestige Pro with a variety of different strings, but for the review today, we have the Head Lynx Tour 17 at 50 pounds. And for more information on this racket or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.